Hello, everyone. Me again, Thomas Rene, head of voice and speech at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Uh, more about tea. So I'm curious, what happens when a word ends in tea and the next word starts with tea? Uh, do we say two T's? Do we say one T? And I think a lot of times people say, oh, you say two T's. Actually, in our P specifically, uh, we're only going to say one. We finish the first word by closing off that T as if we were going to have that, that explosion like we talked about in earlier videos. That t but we're going to close it and we're not going to uh, explode. We're going to hold it out for a little longer and then explode it to account for the next T. So I'm going to pop some words up for us so we can look at that. And so what we're going to see here is when a T sound is followed by another T sound, such as the word iced tea. And I know we see this D written, but really when we say this word, we're going to get iced. So we get that t sound, even though it's written differently. And then we have this other T, which is going to have another t sound. But instead of saying iced tea, we're going to say ice tea. So I go to say the first T, but I don't explode it. I hold it, and then I explode it into the second word. The same thing happens here, where now we do have two Ts, so it's a little bit clearer. But instead of saying forgot to, we're going to get forgot to. So one more time, we're going to get ice T, forgot to. Excellent. So what I would like to do, let me stop my share. Always. There we go. Uh, we're going to go through the vowels yet again. We're going to have a vowel and it's going to pretend to end with that consonant. And then we're going to move to that same consonant and then go to the same vowel. So uh, if I was working with the fleece vowel, the E, I'm going to go E, T. Okay. So I'm pretending to go to that t sound, but I'm stopping it. I am then waiting and then exploding into that next syllable. Follow my lead and hopefully you get it, okay? And if you have any questions, just put it in the comment. I know it's, it's a weird exercise. E, T, it, T, A, T, et, T, A, T, I, T, I, U, T, U, T, O, T, O, T, O, T, Ta, a ta, a ta, a ta, oi, toy, ow, tau, ear, tear, air, tear, er, tear, our tower, I, a tire. I hope that makes sense, um, at least the theory of it, that exercise again is a little bit weird. Reach out to me if you have any questions about that. I just want to get you uh, first knowing theoretically that you're not going to pronounce both T's. It's going to be one T, but the reason why we know there's two T's and there's just a distinction between the sound is that little hold. If you can get that theoretically first, then I think the practice will come. All right? Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions, and good luck. Keep practicing. Talk to you soon. Bye.